What's going on, y'all? This is your man, Vic, and I'm the house hunter of Columbia. And I'm here today with my beautiful wife, Felicia, and we are the house hunters of Columbia. And uh, I wanted to do this video real quick because I literally just got a message this morning, right before I started doing this video, um, from a guy that is a veteran also. He messaged me and said, hey, I saw your YouTube videos. Um, I'm a veteran myself, and I want help on repairing credit. Um, just about three or four days ago, I had a lady call me from North Carolina that saw my videos and she saw a video on repairing credit and she wanted help repairing her credit, right? Um, and just what can she do going over pointer? She said, I watched your video three or four times, watched it over and over. And I really liked the things that you were saying. So I want to do a condensed version of really the things that people don't tell you. People don't say, right? Everybody says... You know, pay this, pay your bills on time, do this, do that. I'm going to give you a realistic version of things. There are going to be times that you just don't have it. There's going to be times you just can't pay your bills. It's going to be school just started. So you, you're trying to get the kids ready for school. You got school supplies, all these lists that the schools have. You got school clothes. Um, you know, you got kids at home over the summer, running up your light bill, eating all your food. Um, you got the new shoes and things that they want. The games, Christmas is coming up, birthdays, holidays, all kind of stuff. Let's just be realistic. A lot of money is going out. Could you make sacrifices and not do it? Yes, but you still want to live your life. I get it, right? Um, so I'm telling you, if you have like a, a car note, a student loan, a credit card, you cannot miss those payments no matter what. If you make $1,500 to $2,000 a month, as long as those three things are paid and you got food in the in the refrigerator, you good. You have to pay those. But when it comes to... Uh, Light bill, cell phone bills, um, what else? Yeah, like, like the light bills. phone. Things that are not on your credit report. Yeah, things that will not hit your credit. If you got furniture bills that would hit your credit, you have to pay it. If you went out and got uh, engaged, but you used a loan to get the the jewelry or whatever, you have to pay that because it's going to hit your credit. That is going to affect you. So you have to make that small sacrifice to pay those things. But the cable bill, you can call and ask for an extension or let it get cut off. The phone bill, you can call and try to get an extension over and over. I know you don't want that to get cut off. So maybe that'll be the next thing in line, right? <clears throat> but the phone, I mean, the uh, the uh, car note, the student loans, if you have those, you have to get on track. You cannot get a government loan like an FHA, conventional, VA, whatever loan you get to purchase a home. You can't get it and you're uh, negative with a student loan, which is a government loan also, okay? So you cannot miss those payments. Your credit card, if you have it, you have to pay it, and you need to get the balance down. If you have a credit card that's at a $200 limit, you can't have it maxed out at $200. You need to have it at $10 to $15 around there, and then your score will shoot up. Guarantee this will happen. If you have your credit card maxed out at $200, pay it down to $10 and watch your score go up. Okay. If you've been late on things, pay them. Over the next 60 to 90 days, watch your score go up. I'm here to tell you, I've been my wife 10 years, and when we got together, it's, it's not that I didn't have money to pay certain bills. I'm a forgetful. I would just not pay it. And then once I didn't pay one, I wouldn't pay another and pay another and pay another. I wasn't good at paying my bills, even when I had the money. And I would forget things. I, would, I wouldn't pay my car insurance. I wouldn't pay... Uh, Light bill would come home from the field when I was in the, when I was in the army, and as soon as I get home, the lights cut off. I'm like, "What the hell?" Because I would just forget those things. So it really is good, fellas. From my experience, if you have a significant other, you have a wife, let her take care of them bills. From our household, my wife takes care of all the bills. I know what's coming in, I know what's going out, and all that type of stuff. But she handles it, and she's okay with having that on her plate. And so if you have somebody that can do that, or if you can do a direct deposit or automatic draft for those type of things, do it. But don't be late on things that revolve on your credit, like a credit card, like a car note, 
like a student loan or furniture bill or jewelry bill. Don't be late. Phone bill, cable bill, um, even hospital bills do not affect you the way it does if you miss a car note. Um, just one payment late will drop your score just like that. And it will take you, it took you one month to lower it. It will take you three to six months to increase it. Okay? Just think about it, man. What, do you, what, about, what about you? What's some things, some pointers are, are with each other's household that you think? I mean, I think you pretty much covered everything. The major things that I would say is um, that direct draft. Definitely let things come out automatically so you won't forget. And even the bigger bills where you feel like you won't have enough money in there at a certain time to get it all. Good, how you doing? Um, to, to let it all come out. Um, don't just not pay your bills. I know he's saying, you know, don't worry about them like that. But get an extension. You know, call them. You'll be so surprised at how many people will actually work with you when you just call them. If they don't hear from you, they're going to feel like you're ducking and dodging. And that's what we do a lot of times. Don't answer that phone when we know it's somebody calling about a bill. But just talk to them. Let them know, hey, I may have it next Friday. Or, you know, get an extension for two weeks. And they'll work with you. You'd be surprised. But um, as That's, far as everything else, he's pretty much covered everything. That is true. That's a good point. If you call the people and work with them, I had a habit. Um, like I said, me and my wife have been together 10 years. And I made a lot of mistakes when I was young. And that was one of my mistakes. I would just duck and dodge people wouldn't answer the phone, and then next thing you know, they, you know, hit me on with it on the credit. I got all these extra interest on top of what I already owe and stuff like that. So, but if, but then when I talked to them and say, if you would have just called us, we would have gave you an extension. We would have gave you more time. Or even though your payment is $100, we would have taken 50 mm -hmm. and not put it on your credit. Right. So that's something to think about, too. Don't duck and dodge people. Call them, and when you call them, say, is there anything we can do? So I can work it out. I can't give you 100 this month, but can I do 50? And be honest with them. Yeah, be, be honest, honest with your situation. If you tell them I'm going to pay you on Friday and you know you're not going to have it, you know, they're going to be expecting that money. So, you know, ducking and dodging or either not being honest is still going to yeah. get you, you know, Yeah, or not holding, you know, like I said, you say honest. Friday and then you call them again and say, what about next Friday? And you keep <laughs> doing that. At some point, they're going to say, nope, it's either all or nothing. Mm -hmm. So just think about that with your credit. You can get your credit up. You don't have to pay people to fix your credit. I hate hearing people say, I got somebody, I got a partner at home, somebody I know that'll do it, and all this type of stuff. When you literally can spend your own money to get your credit where it needs to be, it does not take a lot of work. It really doesn't. It just takes you being consistent, just being consistent with your payments and, um, and knowing what to pay and what not to pay. Because there are medical bills and things that you don't have to pay. There are things that are so late, six years uh, old, that just don't pay it. Leave it alone. Let it run off your credit, and that'll be fine. It's the recent things that are going to affect you when you miss your car payment within the last 30 days or miss a credit card payment within the last 30 to 60 days or you're not current on your student loans. It's going to take you six to eight months of consistent payments on that student loan. If they see a gap in there, they're going to say pay it for six to eight months and then we'll move forward with getting you approved. So student loans are really killing people a lot. And if you if you don't need to go to school to get a better position at your job, don't go to school just trying to get a refund check because I'm telling you, it's going to hurt you. I, look, I did it too. I, you, I went to school to get a refund check. And hell, I didn't even have to because I get to go to school for free through the military. And I was like, man, I get to go to school and get what? How much money I get back? Just to get a refund check, I did that. But it is not a good thing to do. Do not go to school just to get a refund check. Only do it if it's going to be something to better you for a better position or a better job. And weigh it out. Is that position going to pay more to help you pay those student loans? Or is it going to affect your debt-to-income ratio? It's going to add to the debt that you already have and allow you not to be able to get a house that you really want. Okay? So hopefully these things helped. Um, if you have any questions... Man, please feel free to email us at househunterofcolumbia at gmail.com. Again, househunterofcolumbia at gmail.com. Hit our Facebook business page, House Hunters of Columbia, and um, we'll be glad to help you. We, we, we love helping people. We love getting people approved. Um, whether you're here in South Carolina or somewhere else, it's fine. We just want to help you get approved. All right? Um, that's why you see the shirt. <laughs> Baby, show them your shirt. What's your Never underestimate the power of a woman with a real estate license. That's true. <laughs>
I That's can't true. see it all. Oh, she can't see it all? <laughs> hey, my wife got superpowers. She got that got that license. You have to have superpowers. Oh, you have to have superpowers. That's right. So, <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all, man. Again, any questions, please let us know. We're here to help. All right? As always, I'm your man, Vic. I am the house of Columbia, and I'm with my beautiful wife, Felicia, the house of of Columbia, and if you have any questions, give us a call. Or give me a call 803 760 3151. Let's get you in the home, all right? As always, have a great and blessed day, and y'all be cool. Holler back at your boy.